You learned that Cerebro gives you the keyword distribution and indexing, as well as some trend lines up and down. So what's next? So if you're gonna build out that master keyword list, you would do this on 10 competitors, build an Excel file, and then look at all of the different uh, keywords that are all at the top of the search results, sort it by search volume, rank them all, and then keep going. Um, another cool tool though, is inside of Helium 10. So if you look at the tool list here, you can see under keyword research, we've done Cerebro, we can reverse product lookup. You can also go to Magnet, and inside of Magnet, you can type in keywords. So let's type in Sage Candles for Cleansing House, just like this. And in here, we're gonna be able to extrapolate a bunch of additional keywords and information and suggestions that we can understand and look at. Right, so here they're not showing us the search volume for whatever reason, which is kind of silly considering how important it is. But under here, we can see other keyword phrases that are similar. So Muji candles, I have no idea what that is. But when we look at it, it looks pretty similar. Somebody who would buy this would probably buy my product. So I have never seen Muji candles before. Hopefully I'm even pronouncing that correctly. Let's go over to my listing. Do I have the word Muji? And probably I don't. It doesn't show up, not even in one of my sponsored product ads from a competitor on my own page. So now um, if, if Magnet is saying this is a related keyword phrase, does it have the search volume to justify us looking at this? And, and honestly, I don't know the answer to that. But what I will say, and I don't, I don't want to make sure this is a brand name. It doesn't look like it is. It looks like an actual category uh, term. So what we could do next is go into our listing, hit edit on it, and try and figure out how we would improve the listing, essentially, right? So if we go to the product details section, we look at the description, uh, we look at the bullets, where could we stick in Muji, right? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define Muji. I just want to see... Uh, what it means, make sure it's relevant. Slang or abbreviation form of Majuhideen, which refers to Islamic terrorists. <laughs> okay, that was not that was not on my bingo card for this. <laughs> for this, I only do one shot takes and edit it, so uh, we're not editing that one out. So I, I might I might pick a different keyword, knowing what I do now about that. Well, maybe we'll nix that one. All right, so I probably don't want to put that onto my listing. Don't want Amazon to yank my product. So that's a great example of why you do this keyword research to figure out what I should include and what should I not. 